Plans are now on the track once again in Plainfield to build a new performing and fine arts center along Main Street in the heart of downtown. The town council had some concerns over the potential impacts of the COVID-19 pandemic on the planned center. But as our community anchor Nicole Griffin shows us tonight, Hendricks County residents are still supportive of the project. Work is underway here in Plainfield on a brand new government center. You can see the building going up right here behind me. The current municipal center, which is getting too small for the town of Plainfield, will eventually be torn down. And in its place, the Performing and Fine Arts Center will be built. It's part of phase two of a downtown construction project. During the pandemic, we were talking what's going to happen with this thing. Roger Dutcher is a member of the Hendricks County Symphony Orchestra. He says right now there isn't a venue in Hendricks County like the planned Performing and Fine Arts Center. We've been very dependent upon the schools for performance space because they're about the only ones who have an auditorium. The center is part of Plainfield's downtown conceptual plan that was finalized in 2017. The feedback we got, a lot of it was about um, wanting to have additional entertainment draws that would, you know, encourage people to come downtown. As part of the plan, the town opened a new parking garage. The Barlow is a new apartment complex that is now open and apartments are fully leased. There is also some retail space still available below. And now the new government center is under construction. But before moving forward with the Performing and Fine Arts Center, the town hired a consultant to get public feedback to see if there was still interest due to the pandemic. Which basically said, you know, this building won't be completed until 23. Uh, and so I think the feeling was that by 23, hopefully we will be out of this uh, pandemic and, and a lot of the restrictions that are in place and that people will really be interested in getting back out and going and being, you know, part of different arts events. The town is partnering with local arts groups, which have agreed to make the 600 seat auditorium their home venue for performances. Dutcher says he's already envisioning future shows on the stage. Yes, I've envisioned several. I mean, I've been doing sets in my head for shows that I want to direct and build sets for. Downtown isn't just for downtown businesses and downtown residents. It's really for the entire community, right? We want everybody to have that sense of pride of in their community and, and have reasons to come into downtown. The town manager says the hope is that the new Performing Arts Center will also be a touring facility that will attract both regional and national talent and draw people into Plainfield from all over central Indiana. Ultimately, he hopes it also brings support to the small locally owned businesses already in downtown Plainfield. Working for you, Nicole Griffin, WRTV. And the new government center is expected to be completed in the first quarter of 2022, and then construction will begin on the Performing and Fine Arts Center. The goal is for it to be open by 2023. Another aspect of the downtown Plainfield construction project is Pruitt Theater. The town acquired the building and received feedback from residents who want to see it put back in use. Plainfield is now partnering with a local development team to rehab the facility. Our proposal has been accepted to convert the old theater into a uh, upscale restaurant and bar and then also an event center that could accommodate um, live music, um, potentially weddings, and even kind of do a small spinoff on some movie nights, potentially, since it used to be a theater. Patrick Keller, who you just heard from, owns Crest Point Real Estate. The main hub is located on Main Street in Plainfield. He says right now they are going through the process of inspections and working with the town before they close on the building.